We just got back from shopping this morning, um, and Dave, I know it's Dave posted about this kidnapping on uh, Samal Island. Um, I just want to point out a couple of things that strike me as a little bit odd. The first thing is that the the there's been the quote relating to what should be the MPA, which are the communist group. It's very unlikely they did it. Um, it's not their forte, should we say? It's not their style of doing it. But also looking at the fact that Samal sits right off Davao, um, I would say it's got more to do with politics um, because the the current mayor there is being pushed and there's a lot of media circulation about running for the presidential election. I would say it's got more to do with that than anything else. Um, but also the people that do normally use the speedboats are the, was it Abu Sayyaf? Now, a lot of people may not be aware of this, but the down that sort of uh, west side of Mindanao, it's very hard to control. Um, there's Abu Sayyaf going in and out of Malaysia, right across in, in and out of the Philippines like no tomorrow. Very hard to um, contain. Those speedboats that they use are extremely fast. If you imagine, uh, <laughs> imagine a very streamlined log which is being shaped around and sticking a outboard on the back of it, that's roughly what you're dealing with. A very fast, very hard to see boat that will cut through water like no tomorrow. Um, bearing in mind that these people that um, run these boats do it for a living. Not, they're not first generation either, it's gone through the family. So they're not, um, what do you call, they're, they're professionals. They, let's be honest, they're professionals at smuggling, whatever they're doing. But I will say that this has got more to do with politics than anything else. Um, what's likely to happen to the people? they're probably going to be ransomed off. Would I think that people knew on the resort that there was foreigners there and informed them? Um, I would say very likely. Is there other reasons why they would find this okay to carry out without worrying about government? I won't really step on those toes, but there's enough stuff in the media where people have complained that things get moved around and there's concerns over corruption but main thing here is trying to get the people back and I think they're going to struggle to catch them I really do because the speed these things move at they're very small vessels as well so they cut through the water like no tomorrow and if you've been out to the Philippines you'll, you'll, you'll know how many boats are floating around at the same time it's not a case of oh there is the boat it's like there's about a thousand boats and they're you're trying to go and find one one two boats and amongst it all um, okay they're moving very fast but from a helicopter or whatever very difficult to see using large vessels to hunt them not good either because these boats move way faster than those vessels will um, so getting them back I think you might not see them for six months to a year um, while they can cut a deal and basically pay the guys off um, but why it was done I think it's a bit suspicious myself I think it's more to do with the Philippines presidential election alright thanks for watching